Austin has a Newsday update for us right now and everything else that's going on in the world. Good morning, Mr. Anchorman. Well, good morning, Michael Patrick. This update is service of American Metal Roofs. Learn more at AmericanMetalRoofs.com. Michigan Republican Mitt Romney is contemplating a run for the White House, as we know, and tomorrow he plans on delivering a major talk on health care. An opponent of President Obama's plan, Romney says it's too expensive, would raise premiums for everyone, saying there's way too much government involvement, involvement, he says, that could easily get in the way of relationships patients have with their doctors. Many worry, too, the federal health care plan is so costly, and as so many regulations, many companies may drop health care plans entirely. Romney says a part of his plan would allow states to opt out. The White House is saying efforts to save GM sure did work out well. Proof positive, officials say, when we take into account GM's announcement this week, over 4,000 will be hired at 17 plants nationwide. Manufacturing policy advisor is Ron Bloom. On the official White House blog, he says both GM and Chrysler were given financial lifelines to stay afloat, an effort, he says, that's clearly worked out well. This most recent GM expansion, by the way, means the company will invest nearly $2 billion of its own money. A new survey is out today from the polling group Epic MRA, and it shows a growing number are not very happy at the way Governor Snyder is doing his job. 60% say he's doing poor or just fair. 35 say just poor. A further breakdown finds 57% of Republicans give him a positive rating, 17% of Democrats do. However, better than 6 in 10 independent voters are unhappy with the job he's doing. At first... In a budget-cutting move, lawmakers here were looking at a plan that would cut about $300 per student by way of school aid cuts. But now, the House has agreed to trim $220 instead, and the state Senate $170. Both are expected to come to a compromise as lawmakers continue to try to work out a new state budget plan. And over 100 one-time GM workers are not very happy. They say they have not received pension benefits they were due, and they want not only these benefits, they want interest paid on that money as well. This all came about as a result of GM's bankruptcy. He's Gary Austin. I'm Michael Patrick Shields, brought to you by American Metal Roofs. You can go to AmericanMetalRoofs.com and find out how you can save up to 50% on your energy bills with a home energy audit. Peter Secchia will join us when we get back.